Hello boys and girls, I hope everyone's doing really well at home. Um, I have a story from first class to read for you today, but everyone is very welcome to listen to this one. It's a story that I bet a lot of you already know, called The Hare and the Turtoise. And it's a very old Aesop's fable, but it has been retold in this book by Brian Wildsmith. And first class, you are going to be retelling the story later in your Over the Moon Skills book. So it might be helpful if you think about the important points in the story while I'm reading. Okay, and that might help you to retell it. Now I'm gonna get in nice and close because the pictures are just beautiful. Brian Wildsmith is also the illustrator. And wait till you see the colorful pictures in this book. Okay. Now, a hare and a tortoise were having an argument. The hare, who could run very fast, thought he was much more clever than the tortoise who could only move slowly and had to carry his house around on his back. But the tortoise did not agree. To the hare's surprise, the tortoise challenged him to a race. We will run from here, over the hill, through the hedge, then along the carrot field to the old cart, he said. The hare laughed. I am sure to win, but we will race if you like. News of the race spread quickly, and the birds and animals gathered to watch. The tortoise will not have a chance, cried the fox. Wait and see, said the owl. The cock offered to start the race. The spectators stood back, and the cock swelled up, ready to give the signal. In a flash, the hare was off, flying over the grass. The tortoise had hardly moved. In a few moments, the hare had run over the hill and reached the hedge. He looked behind, but the tortoise was not in sight. The hare stopped to nibble some tasty leaves. The tortoise plodded on and came to the hill. It was hard work for him to climb it and the birds called encouragement to help him on his way. The hare had finished eating the leaves in the hedge and dashed off again at full speed to the carrot field. He was very fond of carrots and could not resist stopping to eat some. He ate and ate until he was so full he had to lie down and sleep for a while. The tortoise had only just reached the hedge. He was already tired, but he kept walking slowly on. At last, he reached the carrot field, but the hare was too fast asleep to notice him passing by. Suddenly, the hare woke up. He stared in astonishment towards the old cart, the winning post. The tortoise was almost there. The hare ran as fast as he could, but it was no use. The tortoise had won the race. All the animals gathered round the tortoise while he told how, in his slow and steady way, he had won the race from the quick and careless hare. Okay, boys and girls. Now, I hope you enjoyed that story. And first class, if you take a little bit of time to try and think about what the very important points of the story were, and that might help you to retell it. All right. Bye, everybody.